The next stage, final stage of your pregnancy is really the delivery. And in a, in a baby who's had an emphalus seal detected, there's a couple different important things that need to be decided. The first is what kind of delivery should you have? Should it be a vaginal delivery or a C-section? And with some types of emphalocele, we actually do recommend a cesarean section. Why? Well, because there can be, particularly if an emphalocele is large, or if there are sensitive organs like the liver contained within it, we worry a bit that with vaginal delivery that those sensitive organs could be um, uh, hurt or um, compressed. And so um, once you get fairly far along in your pregnancy, we can tell you what we advise, a cesarean section versus a vaginal delivery. The next issue is the timing and therefore the place of the delivery as well. One of the key issues with emphalocele is that the baby does need to deliver at an intensive care nursery in a hospital that can deal with all of the needs of that newborn. At, here at UCSF, um, we um, can take care of a newborn with an emphalocele and perform all that is needed for that baby after delivery. The uh, timing of the delivery then is really centered around uh, guaranteeing as best we can that the delivery happens here at UCSF. For that reason, we would probably recommend delivery around one week before your due date. Um, and if that's by cesarean section, it'll be by a scheduled C-section then. If it's by a vaginal delivery, it would be an induction of labor. Um, and um, between those two issues, uh, the delivery from phallocele is important um, and at the same time usually pretty straightforward.